and welcome to the stream. Is my microphone working? It looks like it is. Yay. <laughs> I just had to make sure because I really did not test before I went live. Yeah. Hi, welcome to the stream. My name is Anna Davis Court. I'm a children's book illustrator and I hope you're having a lovely day so far. I am just starting into a painting that I've been working on a little bit uh, over the last few days. So it, the, I've actually been working on two paintings and I keep flip flopping between them. So we'll kind of see how this goes, but I'm planning on painting a big old fish, which sounds like fun to me. <laughs> We've got Rin tuning in from work at school. What kind of stuff are you doing at school right now, Rin? Are there any exciting classes or projects? Also, thank you for being here. And hi, Brittany. Hey, hey, what's up? We've got Kendall in the chat. Hello. And Alex saying hi, everyone. Hello, Alex. Good to see everyone. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, I've also got the Canadian Pulse over on YouTube. Thank you so much for being here. I need to drag out this chat so that I can see everything all at once. Everything everywhere all at once. Oh, such a good movie. And my life. <laughs> Everybody else feel like life is just being a lot right now? I don't know. There's something in the air that makes me feel like everybody's having a time. <laughs> I'm having a time, you guys, but also uh, a good time. I'm reminded every day by James. Every day is a new day. Let's just go to sleep, see what tomorrow brings. <laughs> uh, Kendall says, I abandoned Ryan's stream to come here, lol. <sighs> a higher honor could not be bestowed, but also you should just have both of us simultaneously, and then you try to like unmute and mute to like catch both conversations. I'll do a lot of hand gestures for you. Look at this, Kendall. Whoa. <laughs> but also, check out Ryan Selvi. Uh, I don't know exactly when he began streaming, so he might be overlapping a little or a lot. I'm not sure. But uh, Ryan definitely deserves your views, so go check him out. Alessandra says, hey, what's up? Uh, Kendall says, yes, it's a lot. Technically, that's what I'm doing, lol. <laughs> well, you know, we do what we can here. We do what we can. So I'm going to jump in. Uh, this is the, on Fresco today, so I'm working on the iPad, which is, okay, this is funny. My chair broke. <laughs> Hilarious, I know. <laughs> uh, no, it's it's at its lowest setting and it can't go up anymore. Uh, the the arm that, you know, usually lifts it broke off uh, when we were trying to fix another problem, which was that the air kept getting, like, let out a little by little. They sent me a new part. And no instructions on how to disassemble the chair. Luckily, I found a video that showed me how to disassemble the chair. The method that they used made it look so easy, and it was literally impossible. Both James and I tried so hard <laughs> to get this chair disassembled. But one point of it isn't like, oh, you unscrew and then it's out. It's literally hit this so hard that it gets forced out of a thing. And I just couldn't get it. <laughs> It was impossible. So I'm sitting on the lowest setting of my chair. So you're really getting a downward view today. Uh, and honestly, I don't think it would be very comfortable to draw on my Cintiq with this angle. So I'm very grateful to have the little iPad to just have on my lap today. <laughs> Alex says, Anna, this painting is so beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> I'm really liking how it's turning out. I've actually gone through a lot of different changes to this fish design uh but i'm liking how it's going so far i actually learned when i was doing my last patreon post that it wasn't an arowana fish that i was thinking of because <laughs> i looked it up it's all based on this certain fish in animal crossing and animal crossing has the name arapaima i think i'm saying that correctly and uh yeah that's the fish i was thinking of not arowana so arapaima and uh, it's just, the, both the fish are beautiful. They're gorgeous, I love them. But the arapaima is a little bit longer and has uh, less fin at the back, like there's shorter fins. These guys are still pretty emphasized fins, like they're they're big lads. But um, overall, I'm very happy with this shape. I, I could still change it. I happily, like it was a happy accident that I put the light across the fish here. Uh, at first it was just all one color and actually last time you guys saw it I think it was still like a goldish uh, fish goldfish <laughs> hey goldfish anyways uh, the 
stuff I did to it, I, I was just playing around with a lot of like hue saturation color balance layers and trying to figure out what I really wanted from the colors for this guy. And I landed on Rainbow Fish, which we all knew was going to happen <laughs> from the beginning. Uh, I still have feelings of like, oh, I could paint this fish so many different ways and maybe I will maybe I'll just like make a pattern where it's a bunch of these fish all swimming across it and they're all painted just different colors and patterns on them because there are just so many great options that it's really hard to choose but right now things I love about this piece the green of the background oh so spectacular I love greens all of the little uh detail images we have along the side here I actually had a really nice night where I didn't feel like painting slash drawing so much and what I did was I just gave my, myself the task of, okay, make these a little bit more legible because at first they're like nonsense. Let's see, like these guys, they're just, those were my first rough-ins of any of the design. Then I went down here and I was like, nah, just kind of clean it up a little bit. And it was really fun. It actually felt kind of therapeutic. So I would recommend, if you can, <laughs> have some kind of piece that you can work on with your brain half turned off and it still just feels kind of like... All right, I'm getting something done. I'm being somewhat productive. Obviously, a lot of this still needs to be cleaned up and figured out, but I love the things that we came up with before, like this whole like treasure theme along the top is so fun. Um, anyways, I did some work on our little character who is looking up in wonder. And I also, I have two different eye options for this uh, fish. One is blank stare, which honestly, I love a good blank stare, just me. And then there's looking over at her. So this eye connection, I feel like, tells a nice story between them. Uh, but, I, but I also love blank, spare, ugh, blank stare. Because, I mean, look at that. It's beautiful. I don't know. Tell me what you think. Uh, Kendall says, oh, no, chair. <laughs> I know. Let's get a GoFundMe for my new chair. I'm going to need one. Oh. Uh, Brittany says, life is a lot. I think I'm going to relocate from Texas to Washington in 10 days. You think? Or wait, yeah, I think. That's crazy. I'm procrastinating signing the lease on a another tab, lol. <laughs> okay, Brittany, let's talk about that. Because that's a huge move. So you're saying Washington State? Have you ever been to the Pacific Northwest? Do you know about this place and like what it what it would mean for you living here? I'm sure you're going through all of the different decision-making stuff, so I don't need to be the one you answer to. I'm just very curious. Um, but I wish you all the luck. Seriously, that is hopefully awesome. <laughs> Bliss says, it's very hard to disassemble those chairs. I tried and tried to no avail. They make it look so easy in the video, which is the upsetting part. I'm like, come on. Come on, you guys. Uh, Alex says to Brittany, oh, I'm sorry for the stress. Moving is so much. Sending good thoughts your way. Same, same, same. Seriously, this is, uh, our, uh, apartment, they, they have, uh, legally in the state of Oregon, the only amount you can raise the rent is by 10%. That's like the top amount you can do, which is, I'm really glad that it's like set and regulated like that. However, our apartment complex for like the last three years has done exactly 10% and it's getting to like, you know, $120 more, <laughs> stuff like that. And it's just like per month that adds up, that heck adds up. That's more than an extra month of rent per year. And it's just, ugh. but every single time I seem to look for new apartments, or places to live in this general area, and I mean general by like an hour or two away even, uh, I've looked around and it seems like this is still the best deal every year. And I'm like, how? I know that it's a good place. We live in a good place. The only problem I have with it is that it's tiny. But other than that, I love the location. I love the accessibility to things. I love the, I mean, the price somewhat. It's still too much for what we're getting, but for Portland prices, it's decent. <laughs> Anyways, that's a, a big old thing. I feel your pain with moving and looking for places to be. It sucks. Brittany says, I have not been there before. I'm just sick of Texas. <laughs> I kind of know some people in Seattle, but I picked a place in Spokane because I can uh, I could afford a safer looking neighborhood. All right. So you are moving to the place site unseen as in you've never gone and like checked it out yourself see that's the thing i'm like 
I think about that all the time. I'm like, oh man, if I could just move somewhere where the cost of living is lower. However, everyone I know is basically here. <laughs> so it's really hard to think of like, oh yeah, I'm just going to leave everyone. And then uh, I have to start painting or else I'll never paint. Um, the other thing is just seeing it sight unseen. That's to me is so scary, but I'm, I've never had to do it, which is, I think, what causes me the, the, the frights. Also, just I've lived two places other than my parents' house now. So I feel like I am extremely uh, pampered in the way of homes. And I've only ever lived with Anthony, my best friend, and James, my husband. So, like, <laughs> I'm also pampered in the way of, like, oh, yeah, you have to live with people in, like, uh, a house or something and all split the rent and blah, blah, blah. Never had to do that. And not going to say I never will because, man, who knows what the future holds. But I hope, I hope that we can get our own place. Anyways, I hope that you have really a really fun time in Washington. It is wonderful in the Pacific Northwest from me, a native person from here. Um, but it is very different from Texas in terms of weather and everything. I'm sure Rin can tell you because te Rin, you made this move. You should tell everything to Brittany about this. Uh, let's see. Bliss says the amount of rent I pay is better than any place I would find in the area I'm in because I've been, uh, with the, co this company since 2007, your grandfathered in. I love that. Oh, good for you. Uh, let's see. Alex says, yes, moving is so, so, so expensive to do the actual thing. Seriously. It's ridiculous, especially like big ones, you know, going across state lines and everything. I always dream of moving internationally. <laughs> Imagine that. Uh, uh, let's see. Brittany says, yeah, I haven't seen it besides the 3D walkthrough and Google Maps and good reviews. All right. That's a great place to start. Kendall says, I had a classmate that lived in Spokane. My sister uh, also was in Tacoma. Beautiful places. Washington, Oregon. Well, Oregon's a little bit different. I feel like I haven't really explored Western or sorry, Eastern Washington, but Western Washington is absolutely gorgeous. Top. Uh, Pacific Northwest, beautiful forests meets the beaches kind of things. Uh, now, city to city, obviously, is very different because <laughs> Rin says, wait, what? Did I hear my name? It was noisy for a moment at work. The uh, Texas to uh, Northwest Pipeline, the difference in just climate from the southern states to the Pacific Northwest. What do you think? Is there any advice that you could give Brittany on like what what that difference is like just as a uh, general location slash climate change. <laughs> Different kind of climate change, you know? You're changing, we're moving from one climate to another. Brittany says, thanks all, all for the well wishes. Ah, you're welcome. I sincerely, sincerely just wish the best for you because seriously, that's, uh, it's a lot, I know. A dangerous pastime, I know. Okay, so I've just been going in and cleaning up. I did a lot of like rake grit brushes over here, uh, throwing colors around, soft light layers and such. Uh, when I'm done with this piece, I'll definitely upload the time-lapse painting of it to Patreon to show every little, you know, change of thing. Because <laughs> it went through so many changes. But I might possibly do like a whole process video where I just talk about the... The process <laughs> about that <laughs> because this one was such a journey and i really like the piece i hope that it turns out the way i want it to even just i i duplicated it at one point and cut it in half to create the longer fish so i still feel like there are some things that are kind of vestiges of that like i think that this scale and this scale are the same scale that got duplicated. You can see like the blue one right before it. Uh, so getting rid of the obvious repetition like that I think is going to be one of the things that I work on today. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I already see rain. <laughs> so Kendall says I would love to explore Oregon. All I saw of it was the corner where we cut through to go to Washington for my sister's graduation last summer. Kendall, come on up. Stay a while. I would love to show you some sights. 
and Rin obviously is going to show you so many sites because Rin knows all about Portland now, saying, ahem, rain, so much rain. I love it. It makes the moss grow. <laughs> well, Rin, the moss gives you power, so of course you love it. <laughs> but it's true. It is not just that, like, oh, it's rainy, and, like, if you don't like rain, that's tough. But also, like, it's just so much of it that sometimes in spring I forget what it's like to be fully alive <laughs> because like the sun comes out and you're like oh gosh I can go outside and do things at any time without putting on like rain boots and rain jacket and also just being uncomfortable the whole time it's amazing when the sun comes out I have to say like spring and fall in Portland are my favorite things. Summer, unfortunately, has gotten really hot now. But uh, yeah, the rain in winter is forever. Forever. Uh, Brittany says, I think I might try to get closer to Seattle eventually. Just trying to get uh, do the Texas transition to Spokane uh, since it was cheaper. Absolutely. Uh, also... Vancouver, Washington is right across the bridge from Portland. It's very, very close. And I've always looked at it because it is much cheaper than a lot of the Portland area things. Um, but then I learned that it's like the highest crime rate in the United States is in Vancouver, Washington. And I'm like, great, 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 great. <laughs> but also, I don't know. Is it worth it? I would say for safety, no, but like if you're, I don't know, in a certain part of it, maybe it's not so bad. Who knows? Only people who live there. And honestly, I, I think I might know one person who lives there. Anyways, I hope that uh, Spokane, I don't know much about Spokane, so tell me all about it. Have you learned any of the area, any of the parks that are near you, stores, uh, culture of the, the history? I don't know. Or I should say history of the culture. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know much about other states' history, I have to say. Know much more about Oregon than anywhere else, which, I mean, it's to be expected. But I even just recently saw a documentary on Astoria, which is one of my absolute favorite places in Oregon. And learned so much. Apparently there was this dream that... Astoria was going to be like the New York City harbor of the West Coast. They even had a wonderful illustration of skyscrapers on the edge of the Columbia River where Astoria is. As if like, yes, in the next 50 years, this is going to be what Astoria is. And you know what made it not happen? <laughs> it is like a, a small, quiet town. It's where Goonies was filmed, stuff like that. Like it's, it's sleepy and I love it. Uh, but it is now more burgeoning in terms of like industry and everything. There's a hopping, <laughs> hopping beer scene. <laughs> but anyways, what stopped it from being the New York City, maybe one of many things, but just the big one, is that there is a bar in the river where the river meets the ocean. There's a bar, which means that it's like a underwater island, basically. Like it's it's just a little bit too shallow in this one area, and it changes constantly because it's moving with the currents, basically. So all of these barges, these massive shipping ships, <laughs> uh, coming from the ocean into the river or vice versa, what they have to do is there's a pilot boat. A little boat that carries a pilot out to the ships so that the ship can be piloted by someone that just temporarily hopped on to get across the bar because they're the ones who know it and everybody else on the ship would probably run aground if they tried <laughs> so i always thought these pilot boats were a thing everywhere in the world no turns out this is an astoria thing because of the bar and that's why it slows the industry down so much. It's just not as hopping as it could be because there's a treacherous thing that has run aground many, many ships in the past. Apparently it's like an ecological disaster zone because of that, which sucks. But also the way they found around it was just, hey, get the most knowledgeable people about how to traverse it on each ship all day long. Can you imagine? 
Alessandra says, how was your past weekend, Anna and everyone? Uh, it was lovely. We got to celebrate my uh, dad's birthday. We had a bunch of pizza and cinnamon knots and I gave him uh, cereal bowls <laughs> and a subscription to BritBox, which is, I think, what he enjoys the most right now. He called last night to log in and man, it was so cute. I just love him. <laughs> I love him so much. He was like trying to get <laughs> the email in. Oh, he would hate me telling the story, but he was trying to get the email in and he said, uh, it won't let me get the password in. Uh, and I was like, please describe the whole scene that you're seeing, like everything on the page. Just read it to me. And he said, oh, uh, must include valid email or something like that. And I was like, OK, so there's something wrong with the email. Maybe there was like a space in there or something. He's like, no, no, of course not. I did it perfectly. And then <laughs> a minute later, he's like, there were two at signs because <laughs> they had the like autofill of at gmail.com and he had done at and then that anyways it was a cute moment i just love that uh so he watched some jeremy brett version of sherlock holmes if you know then you know and i think he was a happy camper so i'm very i'm very grateful for that also, super cool thing that he wanted for this birthday was a bike. He's 69 years old, and what he asked for for his birthday was a bike. I love that. So I, I just imagine him, you know, riding around town. Apparently, he went and got it with my mom over at uh, REI and then rode it home. <laughs> and that's just the cutest thing in my mind. He got his bike and he had to ride it home because he was so excited. Ugh, I love it. Anyways, yeah, that was my weekend. How is everybody else's? Kendall says, I know the rain now. Poor sister's grad was cold and downpour. Yes, yes. Planning outdoor activities is very iffy. Alex says, if it stays dark all day from fall to spring, like everyone takes vitamin D pills to not be depressed. Haha. -ha. Constantly vitamin D. You gotta, you gotta. Uh, Brittany says, I don't mind the rain and I love moss then it sounds like maybe your place. Alex says, yeah, I used to live in Vancouver my entire life until November. It's actually super safe there, but it's way more expensive than Portland for day-to-day -day cost of living. See, that's the thing where we're like, well, it doesn't have income tax in Washington. So that would be 10% of our money saved. But then also they have sales tax, which like is an unknown quantity that you spend basically. Uh, and... I've never had sales tax. It would probably be hard to get used to. But also uh, we were thinking like, can you just cross the bridge and buy stuff from Portland? I don't know. Is that something you've done, Alex? Jessica T. What's up, Jessica? Saying Washington is where the Twilight books took place. The town of Forks, it, which actually exists. Yes, Anthony has gone there. <laughs> Rin says, cinnamon knots. Nom, where from? Or did you make them? I forgot you and your family baked tasties. Yes, we baked them. Of course we had to. Now, it's like a family recipe that's been handed down. And uh, James's aunt gave him a box of Penzi spices, which I think Penzi's might be uh, Oregon native kind of um, company. <laughs> but anyways, uh, it's a great, great spice company. If you have never had Penzi's, I highly recommend. Anyways, uh, so there was a, a box of different cinnamons. So we had to, of course, test all of those out on our cinnamon knots. And uh, one of them was called Vietnamese cinnamon. And it was like it had an extra bite to it. And it was delicious. The idea of cinnamon knots, by the way, is you make a dough, kind of like cinnamon roll dough. Then you uh, make it long as like a little log worm. I don't know. And then you dip it in melted butter. And then you roll it around in cinnamon and sugar. Tie it in a knot, put it in a cupcake tin, bake it. Ain't that just the way? <laughs> Anyways, they were amazing. Uh, as you can probably tell from the description, there's nothing that can go wrong there. Uh, and yeah, so I had to send Aunt Sue the whole review. And it was just amazing. I love cinnamon knots. Now, usually the, I made a whole batch, which is 24 cinnamon knots. It's a little excessive. But that's uh, the reason I did that was just because my family was coming over and I'm like, I can just give them the bulk of them. And they took a big tin full. And I'm very glad because uh, no way I could eat that and survive. <laughs> Although I did have like probably five of them or something. <laughs> They're so good. 
Let's see. Brittany says, well, I looked at the crime map for, map for Spokane and found a suburban area that seems quiet and safe. Apparently downtown has bad crime, but that's every city. Truly. That's the thing is like, who knows? Because I look up crime statistics every time I think about moving and it's like, well, I mean, they say it's really crimey around here too, but it's like very lovely from my experience. So who knows? <laughs> uh let's see okay 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 yay for bikes i agree i agree so hard and you guys are saying i'm tech support for my dad <laughs> i could be if you would accept me uh candle says boulder has so many older people on bikes and it's athletic 80 year olds i love that oh they're probably like the altitude it makes me feel young <laughs> oh man uh, let's see. Kendall says, I'm so bad at timing audio switches between you and Ryan. <laughs> I keep uh, going to hear what Ryan says and he ends up a sentence right when I unmute. Of course. Of course. It's always going to work that way. We're not collaborating on this, unfortunately. <laughs> Alex says, yeah, the sales tax was so much. We used to when I was younger, but now the traffic and gas prices is not worth traveling unless it's a large expense. And if you buy anything online, you get sales tax. Oh, <laughs> That's so much. Ugh. Ooh, Rin says Vietnamese cinnamon is my favorite. At least of those I've had. I have a secret jar of it at home. Secret? Oh my gosh. Bliss is heading out. Y'all have a great rest of your day. See ya, Bliss. Have a good one. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, yes, so the Vietnamese cinnamon I am now a fan of. And I've always been a fan of Penzi's. Rin, if you haven't been to it there is a penzi spices downtown it's in the pearl district uh and it is so fun to go in there if not to buy anything just for your nose like you can smell so many spices and just have a field day at least i i would <laughs> i love spices and they have different blends of things uh family favorite of ours is uh fox point that one's really good it's got like a bunch of i think more herbaceous things like I don't know, dried onion and stuff. I know that's not an herb, but whatever. So, uh, yeah, I want to go back to Penzi's and buy everything. Also, they had the best curry powder I've ever had. I want more quality curry powders in my life. Honestly, I should just start getting really into curry and just making every single kind because right now I do usually like an Indian style curry but I'd also like to explore Japanese style I'm sure there are other types of curry as well so I'm a fan that's all I'm saying I'm a fan of everything I've ever had of curry Tim Curry like all the good stuff isn't there a basketball player who's also a curry Steph Curry I think could be wrong Okay, so I love all the texture and stuff in here, so I don't want to necessarily get rid of all of it, but I also just want to calm it down sometimes when it's a little too distracting, like this big pink piece. A piece of pink, a bottle of ink, a cork fell out, and you stink. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. You don't stink, I promise. Uh, let's see, Jessica T says, <laughs> excuse me, I burped. Uh, let's see. Vietnamese cinnamon sounds interesting, but uh, how does it taste compared to regular cinnamon? It's uh, very similar to re regular cinnamon, but it has a little extra bite, like on the back of your tongue. It's just a little, it's not like spicy, spicy. It's like a cinnamon spice. If you could just imagine it almost like mixed with a ginger kind of bite to it, if you know what I mean. <laughs> it's good though. I like it. It's a very intense cinnamon. If you like cinnamon, it's for you. Kendall says, uh, yes, to get Penzi spices. We got a gift of their spices from a neighbor once, and it was so useful. My aunt and uncle uh, on J James's side, they have drawers just dedicated to Penzi spices. <laughs> I'm like, I hope someday to have enough money to do that. Because <laughs> imagine just being like, oh, what does this dish need? Open my drawer of goodies, and it's just full of flavor. Yum. Kendall says, now craving Japanese curry. Yeah, yeah. From what I've heard, I, I think I've had Japanese curry, but only in very limited amounts. <laughs> you know, it's not like something I have every day. Um, it's much sweeter, right? It's on the sweet side, which I am down for. I want to try. 
D. Ross says, love the fish colors. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Alessandra says, oh, no, I think my messages aren't going through. What are you trying to say, Alessandra? Speak to me. Brittany says, the colors are amazing. Somehow you've captured the sunniness of the light and cool shadows. Oh, thank you. That was a happy accident. I can't remember exactly how it happened. There was a series of, like, adjustment layer things happening. Oh, actually, let me show you. I did save this layer group. Oh, you can see the old shape of the fish. So this is new fish, old fish, new fish, old fish. <laughs> so let's jump in here and see. All right, this is going to be a garbled mess, so just bear with me. Um, This is, it looks like, which one is that? Hue saturation layer. Whoa, it did that. Uh, then there was a... subtract it's yellow but it's on subtract so that's what created the shadows apparently uh and i just applied that to the top of the fish and then i think i was trying this but i turned it off uh there's like here let's turn everything off so that we can go from the bottom started from the bottom now we here okay so apparently it was this to begin with this is like where we left off last stream kind of then I added a color balance layer, and then I think a hue saturation layer, and then another hue saturation layer. Don't know exactly what that did, just increased something. Uh, contrast and brightness layer. Then we did the subtract layer, and then on top of all of that... Oh wait, this... Did I mess something up? I'm sure I did. Something here was turned off. Oh, golly. <laughs> Will I ever find out again? Curious, curious. Oh, it was that one, right? Golly, what did I do? Well, it's lost to time now. Sorry. <laughs> it was a bunch of layers. You can see the chaos. So, uh, that was the old, and then, in with the new. We wound up with this beauty, which I do want to add uh, more of a transition where it's got, like, that line of where light hits something really harshly. The actual, like, connection point can be blown out a little bit with color. So, I would love to do, like, a nice orange fuzzy line all along here. I think that would be fun. We'll see. You kind of get the effect of it, like areas like this, where you have a little bit of that that light pink kind of bleed through a little bit. That's what I'm talking about. Like the area where the light meets the dark, it can have a little bit of overblownness on that line. Hope that makes sense. Uh, Brittany says, whoa, yellow on subtract. There's some gold dress blue... <laughs> gold dress blue dress madness i remember that so much i could only ever see gold and white striped instead of blue and black i think for a brief moment i was like oh i could kind of see it and i know that it's an optical illusion thing it was just really hard to switch my brain to seeing the other one alessandra says it snowed for two days straight it's been cold and then hot again and now hot again <laughs> wait cold again and then hot again oh my gosh i'm sorry alessandra you're going through it all Annika's in the chat. Hello. Annika says, it's been a while. Hope you're doing well. Oh, doing so great. <laughs> uh, I hope you're doing well. How is everything in your neck of the woods? We were talking about weather and how rainy it is here. But honestly, right now, it's just a bunch of clouds with some blue peeking out of the, around the horizon, which is lovely. Uh, Alessandro was saying, how was your weekend? Oh, yeah, that's why I was talking about my dad's birthday. That's what we did over the weekend. Uh, we just celebrated with that. And then... Is there anything else, really? Uh, the client project I was working on came back with like very minor feedback that I'm working on today, but other than that, there's not a lot. Uh, Brittany says it's 80 degrees in Texas right now, too warm for January. Yeah, that's insane. <laughs> I cannot imagine that. Although we have some friends who live in Texas who are very much trying to convince us to move down there. They're like it's more likely you'll ever afford a house here than up there. And we're like, that's true, but also it's Texas. But also if our friends are there, 
Alex says to Kendall, ooh, thank you for the brand recommendation. I'm going to try that out, which is something. Oh, Golden Curry brand is the best for Japanese curry, apparently. Ooh, sounds good. Sorry, there's a loud car or motorcycle outside, so vroom vroom. That's all I wanted to say. Annika says, my neck is hurting. Oh, no, but the weather is nice. So uh, no snow, but it's been raining a lot. Why is your neck hurting? I'm sorry, darling. Are you doing the neck exercises? Reach as high as you can with your ear. And then the other side. It's not time. Or wait, is it time for monkey? <gasps> it's time for monkey paws. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah, you guys. Oh, my gosh. Monkey paws, monkey paws. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Okay, so <laughs> if you've never been here before, this is a hand stretch that I like to do uh, halfway through the stream. I know I started a little later today, but we're just we're going to end at five anyway. So uh, this is technically where we would do monkey paws. So uh, to start, I'm going to put my hands out in front of me and join along if you would like. Uh, fingers to the sky, palms away. Curl those fingers into what we call a monkey paw. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Good job, good job. <laughs> Rin says, how is it already time for monkey paws? Oh, that's right. <laughs> Second pose, we put our fingers to the ground, palms towards ourselves, and then curl them in. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Good job. <laughs> Third pose, flip those hands around, palms away, fingers down, and then curl them in. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. You gotta do it like a monkey. Then fourth pose, we have our fingers to the sky, palms towards ourselves, and then curl them in. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. This is what Ryan says is the hardest one to do. <laughs> Sorry, Ryan. <laughs> All right, and we repeat these poses, holding for around a second each, around 10 times, so that we get a nice stretch in our wrists, so that we can take care of our body, because we use it for so many things and put it through so much. And now it's our time to pay back, so that we can prevent some stuff. Oh, I've been using my hands for so many things, but honestly, I haven't been drawing a whole heck of a ton. Basically, this piece and one more I um, keep switching between. And it's been so lovely to have that kind of reprieve that every time I get kind of stuck on one piece, I'll just go to the next and then back and forth and back and forth. And the other one is kind of this patterny one. I'll have to show you. Uh, but this one, I mean, this is also patterny. It's scales, scales of color and such. But with the other one, the pattern is, it's fun to work on, but I keep constantly questioning, like, could this be a better pattern? It's almost like the fish, how I was saying I could do a bunch of different fish and change up the colors and the, uh, the different, sh you know, parts of it that turn different colors and all that jazz. But with the pattern on a coat, a cloak, it could be anything. And so many patterns are beautiful. It's just really hard to be like, yes, this is the one I want, you know? Annika says, playback time, baby. Playback. Play it back, baby. This is an interesting song. <laughs> I just found a 21 Pilots lo-fi uh, mix channel, and I am in love. I'm like, oh my gosh, all these melodies are so good. Ugh, I wish I could play it on stream copyrighted music though Kendall says so many patterns truly so many there's one one piece that I really love on Pinterest that's like outside of a rug shop and they just have textile patterns over and over each other and it's just oh, so pretty so pretty and so simple whenever you look at a pattern it's just like oh my gosh that looks so simple but then you start painting something that's like you know equally beautiful but different it can be really hard all right, when we're done, we're just going to gently shake out our hands to loosen them back up and then do a few shoulder rolls to loosen those up. And then some neck stretches for Annika. <laughs> so I'm going to put my ear as high as I can on one side. Reach for the sky. And then the other side. And back again. And one more time. And then we're going to look as far as is comfortable to each side. From one side to the other. And back again. And one last time. Woo! We did it! We did it! We did it! Yay! Alicema, we did it. Hey, whoop. Hit my thing. 
All right, let's get back to painting. I kind of feel like maybe it's time to swap between those two pieces because I want to show you anyway, so why not swap? Uh, Rin says, my friend May says hi. She did monkey paws with us. Hi, my <laughs> Hi, May. Thank you so much for doing monkey paws. I'm glad you're taking care of your hands. They are muy importante in art school. It's the time when you can easily overwork your hands. So definitely take care. Oh, I am spotting just this another part of this painting that is very repetitious because I tore it apart and put it together. So these three scales and these three scales. So I'm just going to leave myself a little note. I'm going to get out the rake grit brush to, I think, this color. No, I'm going to do it over here, further away. And then I want to break up this one. Let's choose this color. Oh wait, that's too... What I'm trying to do is uh, pick a color that's not so similar to all the other surrounding... Uh, fit, blah, 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 what are these called? Keep wanting to call them tiles. Scales. <laughs> Scales and arpeggio. Okay, so we at least broke that up a little bit. Now, here's our piece in full. Let's go check out our other piece. I'm kind of nervous about this. I just don't want to show any client work accidentally. So you're going to look at my face for a second. I set it up so that I could never possibly show any client work by backing out in fresco, but I'm still nervous about it. So there you go. <laughs> Quick transition. You would have never known. So this is the other piece I've been working on. This is a uh, design for a postcard. So this is a Father Winter type character. And I love certain bits of this and certain times I'm just kind of like, hmm, is it working as well as I want it to? I'm not sure. So let me know what your thoughts are. I'm very curious what what you feel about this, because like in certain ways, I love and I hate. I don't know. I feel like a lot of times I'm just kind of like torn. <laughs> Look at me, I'm torn. <laughs> you must learn your skills and your arpeggios. Brittany knows. <laughs> Alessandra says my hands crack up and release pressure from typing all day. Ah! They got all that. What is it? There's like a gas that gets trapped in your fingers and that's what makes the cracking sound. Uh, Rin says, oh my goodness. <laughs> this is absolutely gorgeous, Anna. Holy moly. Thank you. Alex says, wow, I love this too. Oh, thank you guys. You're so sweet. <laughs> Rin says, the shapes and colors. I love it. Oh, Brittany says, the robe colors are gorgeous. Oh my gosh, you guys are so nice. <laughs> Jessica T says, the cape reminds me of the cape from the frog portraits you did. Yes, the magical uh, frog wizard. It's funny because Kendall actually left a comment on my Patreon that was, it reminds her of, uh, oh, 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 golly, Celeste and Lumi, those characters uh, from a while back. Let me see if I can find them real quick because I feel like having them back to back would actually be a really cool little comparison. <laughs> Let's type Lumi and see what it brings up. I'm just searching my computer real quick. Hello? There we go. Yeah, Clem. <laughs> oh, I think, did I call her Clementine? Or did I just forget that I named her Celeste? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Kendall says, Lumi. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, this one's the one. Okay. Totally see the comparison in like the the hat, especially obviously. But yeah, these are little characters that we painted. Oh golly, long time ago. Let's see when this file was made. Twenty twenty. Okay, so it's been three years. <laughs> That's not weird at all. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so patterning on the hat. It's pretty basic, but it's cute hat. I like it. I'm wondering if I, if, like, what I should take from this or not. I really like the flow of this one. There's something about the hair coming up and then... Whoosh. That's nice. Good little character study. Some of them I like much more than others. Like, this one I think is much stronger than this one. You can see my cursor, right? <laughs> Hopefully. Anyways, Lumi's a little cutie, as usual. Thank you, Cele or Clem and Lumi. 
<laughs> Kendall says definitely feels like part of the same world. I agree. It totally does. Ren says the hair does feel a bit cartoon saloon in the best of ways. Oh, that's a really nice compliment. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So we've got our friend. I am so happy that I got to add his little bird friend. I'm still torn on whether we need some kind of dark separator between the bird and the beard because it feels like it blends too much. So... Maybe we just do this for the time being. Just a little line. Yeah, I think that helps a little bit. I've been playing with like how much line versus no line for a long time. <laughs> That's basically been my life as an artist. It's just like line or no line. But, uh, you know, when you need it, use it. That's what I say. So I've gone through a few different iterations of patterning, and I'm not sure if I love this current one or not. I think it's honestly this moon area that causes me the most consternation. Uh, I'm not sure why. That's the problem. I also love slash hate this bottom part with the little... <laughs> they remind me of Cheez-Its for some reason. <laughs> These little Cheez-Its and their beads. There are little beads connecting them. Maybe that's a little too dinky weird for the rest of this. I feel like the rest of it flows pretty nicely. And then there's just this little like. <laughs> uh, Annika says to line or not to line. <laughs> Lol. I see Cheez-Its. <laughs> it's funny because we also had goldfish in our other piece. So goldfish and Cheez-Its, man. Mm -hmm. Apparently I'm hungry. Okay. So let us discuss. Uh, so, for the most part, I feel like the concept of this is solid. The composition is there. The colors are cool. I mean, I could still work on them, but I think I like them for the most part. I've gone so back and forth on these, like, pinky colors. Oh, my gosh. But anyways, uh, for the most part, I think we're pretty solidly there. However, the focal point of this to me, and it may read differently to you, so let me know if it does. Um, is the cloak. I feel like the patterning on this is why we're looking at this piece for more than a split second. And the patterning to me is just not the tip top yet. So what I'm going to do right now is just give myself a new lease on life. <laughs> and I'm just going to block out all the things that I don't like about it. One thing I do, I, I should concentrate on the positive, right? One thing I really do like about this pattern so far uh, and Brittany says, gosh, the robe looks so done to me. <laughs> I'm so like, that's the thing is like, I could call it done. It doesn't have to be my magnum opus. It doesn't have to be like, I love every part of it, but I also feel like it's at that crux of like, I could call it done or I could be like, push it further. So why not push it a little further if we can, if it looks horrible after my revisiting, then I can always drop back to this. Kendall says, well, I'm looking for Adobe fonts for a project and I opened a collection called Fonts for Creative People and it's just Anna's opinion on balloons. You are W on balloon. You are w. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> fonts for Creative People and it's just Anna's opinion on balloon. You are W. I need to know about this. Fonts for Creative People. I need to know. Oh my gosh. Aaron says on Rift Soft Bold. Oh my gosh. Tammy. Ah, oh my gosh. Okay, so this is an article, apparently, <laughs> that all of the Adobe Creative Residents of my year d gave little thoughts on. We asked each of the 2018 Adobe Creative Residents to choose a font they enjoyed working with. I have not thought about this since. They had us do so many things during the residency that I don't remember. <laughs> Aaron says this this font. Okay, this is all about Rift Soft Bold. <clears throat> this is... I can't even read it. This font is bold yet refined. Tall yet not too thin. And geometric yet smooth. All the things I aspire my work to be. I love how versatile it is in use. Whether it's to highlight smaller text or to stand out in titling. No matter how quiet or bold I use Rift Soft Bold to take a statement. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. 
I need everybody in the residency to come back so we can read these together. <laughs> oh, golly. Amy says, this font has a playful feel and is visually pleasing to me. It's almost as if the person who made it loved just to have fun. Oh, I love it. Just have fun. <clears throat> I used this font for my 20-day uh, poster challenge and just loved how it came out. Even the name sounds unique. I use this font to make a statement. Can you tell I'm avoiding mine yet? Uh, make a statement in my pieces. and I love how curvy and bubbly kind of the corners are. Using this font has definitely influenced how my I work and reminds me to always have fun when designing. I don't use this font a lot. However, there's definitely a time and place for it. That's how a creative person uses typefaces. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, word of me. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm working on a children's book which heavily relies on text as well as illustration. <laughs> My work could be described as handmade, so I've always been in search for fonts that appear handwritten without compromising clarity. <laughs> I found that blue. You are W hit <laughs> that mark perfectly, complimenting my illustrations while keeping a professional look. Even the name of the font sounds fun, cute, just like my book. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't remember it at all. What does balloon URW look like? I'm curious now. Of course. <laughs> Andrea <laughs> picks active, grotesque, bold. All right, Nadine did clown, uh, clown, <laughs> clone rounded PE bold. Isabel did monotype grotesque. And Laura said Gil Sands Nova Ultralight. Do each of ours just sound a little bit like us? Oh, yeah, Tammy's was uh, Karl Marx bold. Karl Marx? Isn't that Marxism? Is this a communist typeface? <laughs> or font? Sorry. Oh, here, here, we can see ours. So we've got Rift Soft, there's Aaron's, then Tamey's, Gil Sands. Uh, oh, wait, no, no, no. Rift Soft was Aaron. Gil Sands is. Who's Gil Sands? Oh, yeah, that's Laura. Okay. Then we got Carl Marx, which is Tamey. Balloon, that's mine. <laughs> <laughs> Kendall, I need to know your thoughts on balloon URT. URW, I can ne I'm never gonna remember that. <laughs> Annika says now Anna cringing at past Anna. Yep. <laughs> oh my gosh, these are great. Everybody else's are so like, yeah, that fits you, and mine's just a little like <laughs> That's how I feel about me. Thank you so much, Kendall, for that blast from the past. I didn't even know existed. <laughs> I would have forgotten about that forever. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Alex says <laughs> exactly perfectly. I love how this article is so obviously, God, they want me to write a paragraph about a font I like. <laughs> it has to be more than one. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I just dropped my iPad. Uh, as you can see, it's okay. It's okay. It's still good. It's still good. Uh, yeah. The whole write a paragraph about this. Give us your thoughts on that. That was thrown at us daily with all the work that we all had to do anyway. And it's just like, it's a lot. So we're like, okay, I'll write this real quick at midnight before it's due. Uh, Rin says, is this voice also the same universe as the character you're working on? <laughs> yes, my gremlin voice. <laughs> it's from my universe. It's called the Anniverse. <laughs> Kendall says, I hope they open the residency for everyone again this year. I love read the reading of this. I so hope that the residency reform er, returns to the form that I had it in because it was absolutely outstanding. And I hope that... More people can experience that. It definitely changed during the pandemic. Kendall says, I can tell you were <laughs> uh, cornered into picking a font, so I'll leave it there. <laughs> I'm not a font girl. I don't know about stuff. <laughs> I don't know about stuff. Why are you even here? Get out of here. Uh, yeah, I, I won't ever say that I'm knowledgeable about this stuff. So, uh, let's just say in middle school and such, there was a lot of Comic Sans going on. A lot of Comic Sans. 
Uh, also, my mom's uh, stand at the farmer's market. I think one time, was it me? I, I don't know. I can't remember which one of us was tasked with it, but somebody chose papyrus for our, our font. It's good times. Uh, Brittany says it's like going back to read old school essays. <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh, Gamble says the essays where you realized you had said uh, had said it all, but still had 300 more words to write. Truly. Brittany says Anna's new hit single. I'm not a font girl. <laughs> I'm not a font girl, not yet a typeface woman, not a graphic design person, not a kerning man. <laughs> Joe's in the chat, what's up? Hey, yo, saying I'm back from Canadia land. Tell me everything. I want to know everything about Canadia land. I'm very curious. Kendall says, how was your trip? Dark Hour says, uh, Anna refuses to be typecast. <laughs> oh, that's too good. Uh, I will not be. Can't put baby in a corner. Can't put baby in a kerning. Can't. Puns. You know? You know? You get it. Fill in the blank. <laughs> oh, Dark Hour says it was so nice and cold. <laughs> I bet. Annika says, wait, what? <laughs> Annika, didn't you know you were closer to Joe than ever? <laughs> Annika says, lol, the kerning. <laughs> like the yearning. The kerning. Okay, so <laughs> you guys are just too funny. I can't stop reading. Uh, Dark Guy says, did the skiing, eating, hot tubbing, and having an actual break. All things that are good. I love that. Oh. Skiing, eating, hot tubbing, having an actual break. Sounds like a dream. Uh, it was only for a few days, sadly, Annika. <laughs> yeah, it was It was a short trip, but also like a really big trip to go from Australia all the way to Canada. Hot dang. But that sounds like you did everything you wanted to do. So I'm glad. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. You guys, that was a big old distraction. I'm going to block out everything I don't feel passionately great about about this pattern. Don't care about all of this, honestly. Honestly, I could probably take it back to just the border. I like the border. Oh, yeah, that's on a separate layer. Boop, boop. Huh. Should I merge it down? Yeah, I think so. I'll just put it down there for now. Okay, so... Uh, I don't think I like how flat across these two areas go. Yeah, so honestly, I just like the border so far. Not saying I hate the other things. I'm just saying, like, what do I really like about it? I think I like the border the best. So, if I were to just real quickly, not in a uh, a way that's like, what do you call it? I'm not dedicating anything to this. I just know I want a few swaths of shape and color. So I like the shape of kind of a wiggle down. Wiggle down. And then I definitely want that orange. Because I really like the orange, especially against the green. Um, but I don't have to do a bunch of concentric lines. One of the things that I was thinking of is maybe having like a central back thing. Because the back of a cloak is just an opportunity for a big old picture, right? And then, what if we did... Oh, hey, Adobe Live, what's up? It says we're painting a fish. Does this look like a fish to you? <laughs> what's the motto with you? Uh, hi, I'm Anna Davis Court. I'm a children's book illustrator. It's lovely to have you here. Uh, everybody in the chat is welcoming you because this is a welcoming kind of place. Let us know what you're up to and where you're from and all that jazz. Jessica T is asking, Anna, what pen do you use for your drawings? Uh, are you asking like the brush in fresco? Because right now I'm working in fresco. Uh, the... the brush I'm using right now is a rake grit brush. Rake grit. So it's like you're taking a rake across a gritty surface and that's your brush but the uh the usual one i use for drawing is the pencil brush i love 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 uh if you're talking traditionally i will draw with literally whatever is within my arm's reach that's the goal really now i feel like it's concentric rings around the back piece so how do i break that up maybe i have little divots in here it's a flower. 
Well. I'm just really quickly trying to rough in some ideas of what a pattern could look like on this uh, cloak. I already have a pattern underneath it, so it's not necessary that I have to make it elegant and amazing. Uh, Dark Hour says our flight back home was 16 hours. I am ma major jet lag still. Honestly, that's amazing. 16 hours. I always look at flights to like, um, I'm very interested in going to New Zealand and it's always like 21 hours at least. So that's really good. Uh, Kendall says, I need a proper one. I felt like I worked mentally during Xmas holidays, even though I was technically off, just never turned the brain off. Oh my gosh, I feel you. It takes longer than it should to turn your brain off, I feel like. It's like, oh yeah, here's my vacation. Start. And it's like two days later, maybe you feel like, okay, I'm on vacation. Maybe I should think about turning my brain off. <laughs> Uh, Dark Hour says, also, just have to say I'm in love with this warlock traveler. I would die for them. <laughs> well, you don't have to. What they want is for you to live for them. Kendall says, I am not looking forward to end uh, the end of this year's jet lag going to South Africa for my brother's wedding. That is so cool. Worth the jet lag any day. Oh, my gosh. The one and only Ryan Selby is in the chat. Ah, saying welcoming kind of place i'm not interested obviously not that's not your bag welcoming Ooh. uh dark guy says star constellation creatures that sounds really cool i like that idea a lot jessica says i mean the pen you're holding in your hand oh this is an apple pencil yeah look at that look at that shiny wow <laughs> i think it's a uh, apple pencil two because this is an ipad pro i think technically maybe 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 <laughs> Ryan says, the one and only, it's me. Just like that, too. You said that at home, I'm sure. Ryan says, Anna, I commented on your Patreon, but I can't re reiterate enough how much I love my goose this month. You're so sweet, Ryan. I love that so much. I saw that actually right before the stream. I was like, ah, because uh, if y'all don't know, I made a stamp. It's not here anymore. I was looking for it. But um, it is a goose wearing a little cap and a little bow on its neck. And I made it with a little piece of linoleum and printed it and then did a little colored pencil over it just to like add a little zhuzh. And I sent those prints out to my patrons for the month of December because I just wanted to say like a little extra thank you because my patrons are amazing and I love them dearly. And it was just like one of those last minute things where I was like, I want to make something extra. And I love how that goose turned out. So I'm really happy that that happened. And then Ryan said today on uh, Patreon, he was like, Aaron and I gasped when we opened it. And I was like, that's the dream. I want to make you guys happy. That's all I ever want in life. <laughs> Ryan says, I broke my Apple Pencil yesterday. No, Gen 1. Went to buy a new one and they still have Gen 1 for $99? That's disgusting. $99 for Gen 1. How long has that been in production? $99. Is that, That's the same price as the Gen 2, I believe. <laughs> you know, greed, money, all that stuff. Is bad. Oh, wait, that should have gone. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay, so um, I'm just going to see what that feels like. Does that feel like good? No, I want more yellow. And it was all yellow. Let me grab it from underneath here. From our Cheez-Its. Yeah, give me that Cheez-It color. Okay. So we were talking about Star Constellations, which was an excellent idea from Dark Hours. Not to be unexpected. I mean, Joe is just full of all sorts of glory. Ryan says, going to save up for a new iPad so I can buy a new Apple Pencil. <laughs> That's so sad. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Ugh. Um. Okay, so if we're thinking Star Constellation kind of thingies, what if we did... Mm, no, not on here. Let's do... Huh. How, where, and why, and how. Maybe we block out... Ooh, maybe this cool purple? No, this guy. Yeah, this would look good with little star constellations on it. Real roughly, because I'm not sure. I don't want to dedicate anything yet. Oh yeah, cheese it colors. Oh, here, up on the hat. Cheese it. Do 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 do. Choo 
Make them bold like Cheez-Its. Extra cheesy. Oh wait, that's Cheetos. I gave my niece a uh, a cheetah for Christmas, just like a stuffed cheetah, and she's so enamored with it, she named it Cheeto, and I love that. <laughs> she's so good. <laughs> Dark Hour says, give me that cheese. Ryan says, who's those wizard? Uh, this is our father winter or something. I don't know. They're a friend. Just from up top, giving a little cold to the peeps up down below. And I'm having fun painting them right now. Let me show you. I'm just going to merge these guys. Uh, this is our cloak design right now. I'm not in love with every aspect of it. That's why I'm painting over it. I just kind of narrowed it down to what I do love and then worked from there just to see if we could get a better design out of it. Not saying like I expect us to. It's more like playing around just for funsies. Kendall says, <laughs> sorry, Dark Hour says, hey, yeah, I am so full of it. <laughs> Kendall says, I didn't watch anything about the new Apple stuff. Uh, was that a thing today or yesterday? Ryan says, was there anything more than just the new HomePod? Kendall says, apparently they're working on a smart display and M2 is really good. I know nothing about this. Technology? <laughs> no. <laughs> Can I draw on it? That's all I care about. Uh, but, you know, hey, technology people, you know what you're talking about. Go off, queens. Okay, let's get some orange up in here. And then this could be delightful. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to think of ways to make this not just lines. It could be fun. What I want is separation and funkiness. No, I don't like that. Uh, let's bring more of that cheese it color. When in doubt, cheese it out, basically. <clears throat> and let's do a starburst right at the edge here. I do love the idea of having... Uh, what do you call it? Like a contiguous shape that goes across the two sides here. So it's like they're separated, but they go together. I think that's fun. And really what I'm thinking here is if I were to design myself an epic cloak, what would I want it to look like? It's not just about the illustration. It's about me cosplaying this character in the future. Okay. How am I going to do this? I want to be them. Uh, whoa, <laughs> Ooh, got a little excited. Uh, Ryan says, I want the M2 MacBook Pro is all I want. Just announce it so I can buy a laptop. Whoa, calm down there, Ryan. Kendall says, wasn't that today's announcement? Oh, what? <laughs> Dark Hour says, I gotta run, get food. Fridge empty, now APAC stream. I will be back soon. I hope that you have a lovely APAC stream. Definitely post about it in the Discord. And everybody, go join APAC when it's up. And get your foods in the fridge. That's important. Feed the dark hours. Uh, Kendall says, bye, dark hours. Hope you enjoy foods. I mean, foods are to be enjoyed. Yes. Uh, Anthony Jackson's in the chat. What up? Anthony saying, how would you get this costume made? That'd be awesome. I have no idea. I have some dreams of like sewing someday. Will they ever be met? Who knows? <laughs> but uh, I like the idea of it. So just let me have my dreams. Okay, so I like this orange being around this purple. I'm going to call it periwinkle. And then the star patterns to be inside there is good. Is good. Maybe we could have just like little stars. And then this area is what I'm having consternation about. Let's play around with different shapes. Maybe it's wavy. Maybe it's just a wavy baby, like all around here. Woo! And it's playing with the idea of stars being suns because it's got stars inside, but then the waviness kind of has the connotation of heat radiating out from the sun, like solar flares. Like so many solar flares. And then. 
maybe up here behind our little birdie bird we have some kind of yeah we need some green up there so that we can pop off that yellow pop off okay so we'll have green maybe the green could be hmm. should we like it as like a collar up there where it's just like a little bit of green or we could have it growing up. Maybe Andor. <gasps> I haven't watched Andor yet. Still on the to watch. What shape could encapsulate our leafy leaves? What if this is all green? Am I going crazy with the green? I really love green. You know, I didn't plan on this wizard having any of these colors at the beginning. It was going to be like a bunch of cold and themed all about like snow and such <laughs> being father winter and all the old north wind but um i decided that i would rather just have fun with color and that's when all the color came in <laughs> when i decided i liked color again <laughs> me every day uh <laughs> ryan says do you spin your ipad as you work or do you just move around it I don't know. Uh, was it looking like it was spinning? Uh, I don't usually go like, woo, woo, woo. Oh, yeah, there it goes. <laughs> I don't usually spin it physically. I rotate the campus. This is just me with uh, two fingers on it. Whoop, whoop. So if I need to rotate, that's how I do it. But the iPad is really forgiving for any style of creation. So that's why I love it. That and Ryan, you missed, but at the beginning of the stream, I told everybody about my broken chair. Anna's broken chair. So yeah, it's uh, it's been broken for a few days and I'm sad about it, but I can't really use my Cintiq as comfortably as I'd like to right now. So thank goodness for iPads. Brian says, hello, Anna and everyone or everyone and Anna. I hope your days are well. I hope your day is well, Brian. How are you doing today? Also, how is our little kitty friend? Uh, Dark Hour says, ee -hee, I take phone with me. I am smart. <laughs> I am so smart. S-M-A-T. <laughs> uh, Ryan says, do you spin your iPad? Oh, I already did that. Uh, or do you just move it around? Dark Hour says, a really good question, Ryan. Uh, I noticed Anna doesn't rotate her canvas too often. Um, Ryan says, no, just wondering your process. Yeah, I, yeah, I hope I answered that. I just rotate the canvas. If I need to. But I honestly... I guess it's more for precision mark making where I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm getting this one area and I'm making it perfect. But uh, the style of painting I'm doing right now is just loosey goosey trying to trying to zoom out. So I'm very intentionally not trying to make pretty marks or anything like that. <laughs> Ryan says, is Brian your dad? <laughs> uh, no, my dad's birthday was the other day, uh, but... Brian is my brother-in-law. Does people not know? Come on. Does people not know? <laughs> uh, everybody say hi to Brian. Hi, Brian. Anthony Jackson. So, oh no, broken chair. Yeah, sad day. It's true. Oh, my days are uh, well. She is very energetic. <laughs> is she chewing your couch or anything like that? I'm sorry if she is. <laughs> She's too cute, though. Uh, Brian or Brittany. Brittany says, I was wondering the same thing. Haha. -ha. <laughs> What's the relation? Uh, did you guys know that Davis Court isn't my maiden name? I married into it. Is that crazy or what? What? Do you want to know why? Because it's just the coolest name. No, also, uh, it is one of the rarest names, like, in the United States, I guess. It, it, I'm the only Anna Davis Court that is on the internet at all <laughs> which is awesome especially for discoverability as an artist i was like yep i'll take that <laughs> ryan says you weren't born married jessica t says and a fun fact <laughs> fun fact i wish i had a graphic like ryan is so cool and has graphics for literally everything so i should have a fun fact with ryan's face on it <laughs> Rin says, oh my gosh, Anna, tell us, tell us. <laughs> wow, you're so curious. Ibrahim's in the chat, what's up? Saying, oh ho, hi, Brian. Oh ho, hey, hey, what's up with you today? <laughs> it is a cool name, thank you. Yeah, I love Davis Court. Rin says, it is truly a lovely last name. I cannot say that I've ever known another Davis Court before. The question I always get is, all one word? 
Like, I would tell you if there was a dash. It's just Davis Court. And then I say, Davis as in Miles. Miles Davis. And then Court, like, basketball court. That's how I put it. Maybe someday I'll change that. I'll be like, Davis as in... I don't know, a bunch of Davises. But I could do Court like a royal court. <laughs> Ryan says, uh, gonna birth a bunch of children just to name them Davis Court. <laughs> don't ask me how. Uh, I don't think you... Can you? No. When you have a baby, here's a question for all y'all out there. If you have a baby and you have the ability to name it at the hospital, could you name it first and last whatever you want? Because, I mean, obviously, most of the people I know, they give the baby the last name of their family. Keep it all together. Be like, we are the group called this. However, if you wanted, if Ryan wanted to have a baby and name her Little Anna Davis Court, first name Little, uh, is that legal? Does he need my permission? <laughs> Ryan says, is Davis a sport? The Davis Court. I love that. Well, we live near a place called James Court. And I'm like, James, it's your court. Where's Davis? <laughs> Kendall says, I wonder about the etymology of your name. Uh, I know that James has said the early form of how you pronounce it was Daviskor, something like that. Daviskor? I believe it's Russian. Uh, Rin says, if Davis were a sport, what would it be? What would you do? I say, we sit in a, a, a yard and kick a hacky sack while sitting. There you go. Uh, Rin says, that is a great question. <laughs> Ryan says, you guys are giving me so much trouble with the Rin Ryan. Oh, no. Uh, Ryan says, name them all Anna Davis Court. <laughs> Kendall says, I think there's some names you can't, but for the most part, yes. That's insane. For the most part, yes. That's crazy. Kendall says, I remember seeing something about this on TikTok, and it was talking about Europe rules. <laughs> You know, Europe rules. Those ones. Logo says, hi. Hello, Logo. How are you? Rin says, aha, what a sport. Brittany says, OMG, I'm psychic. I knew you'd say hacky sack. How? Is it just because I'm from Oregon? We're hacky sackers here. Ryan says, composition question. If the wizard is flying uh, on the... Oh, wait. Is the wizard flying the cloud or is he stomping on it to make snow? <laughs> it's like juicing grapes. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta juice them clouds. <laughs> Can you imagine, like, angry little stomps? That'd be so cute. Okay, now I want to animate it. Uh, I imagine that he's flying on the cloud, kind of, like, propelling it forward by leaning forward like a Segway. So that's my idea, but please, give me your interpretations. Dark Hours says, I think Sweden names you aren't allowed to use. Some are more obvious than others. <laughs> Dark Hours says, Stomp! <laughs> Uh, Kendall says, I bring up the controversy, but the baby name of XAEA12, which is, I believe, Grimes and uh, that dude's baby. And I don't know how to pronounce that. Sorry. Jessica says, like a magic carpet. I agree. All a magic carpet. That's what I imagine. Okay, 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 okay. We have not drawn for like 10 minutes. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, who comes here to watch me draw anyway? We're talking about names, people. Names! This is important. Muy importante. Do, 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 do. Okay, I think... That would be fun. And then in the interim... What if we just did a whoop whoop? No scales. No scales. No, 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 no. Zoop, zoop, zoop. Zoop, zoop, zoop. No, that's too weird. It's like chain mail or something. He's a magical lad. Like, we gotta go floopy, floopy, and sparky, sparky. Those are the two shapes. Well, I guess there is a third. Botanical. I hope you know what I'm talking about. Unless you don't want to, it's fine. <laughs> Ryan says, oh, I didn't realize this was Elon Musk. This is never, never Elon Musk. Never in a million years. No. Get out of here with that. Uh, Brittany says, maybe hacky sack is just the first sport us artists choose to participate in. 
<laughs> that would explain a lot, actually, because it's true. It's honestly like we had no problem at all getting a hacky sack group together in art school. It was like effortless. You want to play hacky sack? Yeah. I can do that. And then people were like weirdly good at it. Just like, oh, yeah. A hacky sack. Once, oh my gosh, you guys, once, I don't know if you've heard the story, but um, Anthony and James were both on the news in the background playing hacky sack. I can't remember what the story was about. It's probably some like grisly murder and they're just like hacky sacking in the background. <sighs> Gotta get that sack. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan says, pictured here, the laziest bird I know. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love it. Uh, Kendall says, I was so bad at hacky sack, but I still joined. I love it. Ryan says, I have not heard this before. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it happened. Uh, we should really save, like, a clip if we could find it. It's just on the local news. Alex says, if somebody asked me to play hacky sack right now, I would be down. <laughs> I've got a hacky sack. Do you want to play? One time, I think it was Anthony, James, and I, we were like big into hacky sack apparently uh again we all went to art school together so of course <laughs> so we went to i think a toy shop downtown and each got a hacky sack of a different design i think only the one that james got still survives no actually anthony said that it was in his box of memories he still has his <laughs> i love it <laughs> jessica t says just local celebs no big deal <laughs> just cash Ryan says, get me a super cut of just Anthony playing hacky sack behind a really inappropriate news coverage. <laughs> we could recreate that for your uh, hacky sack special that you're going to put on. Okay, 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 okay. I'm going to put stars in these little culverts. Just to feel it out. Okay. And then I do want botanical goodies. Yes, yes, yes. Should they be coming down like this? Maybe it's like they're springing forth from our bird friend until they are ensconced in the the beauty of the celestial pattern. IDK. Should it be straight across? That is the question. Should it cover that? That is the question. So many questions, not a lot of answers, Anna. Get to it. Hop to it if you know what's good for you. Oh, wait. Oh. Orange at the bottom of our little guys. I really loved doing that for some reason. Having the botanicals end in like a little orange ball guy just made me happy. All right, the question is, are we liking this or are we liking this more? Honestly, hmm. <sighs> okay, I'm going to mishmash because I like certain parts and I don't like certain parts. All right, give me two seconds and I'm just going to paint the heck out of this for a sec. Okay, so I have a feeling. I got a feeling. That tonight I'm going to bend the light okay 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 what i don't like about this is how straight across it goes so what do i do about that i make it smaller up here yeah let's do like a zoop to the back kind of like that It'd probably be better the other way just to make more room for the back panel so zoop that way then it zoops down like zoop 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 and then and then zoop zoop we got all sorts of wiggles and then we go in here and have a nice little moment with the orange i gotta get rid of these cheez-its i'm sorry I know you love the Cheez-Its. They cannot stand here. Cheez-Its be gone. Bye. I think also botanicals be gone. 
However, I kind of like the wavy wave. Drifting up. Maybe botanicals fill this gap. Maybe. Maybe. <gasps> and then it's like an eye. What? It was seeing the eye. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. I'm getting somewhere. Beep, boop, beep, boop. Kind of looks like Brazil's flag. Is that weird? Obrigado. Okay, uh, then let us leaf. Let us leaf. What could we have instead of cheeses? Goldfish. <laughs> What's your favorite snack item? <laughs> Can I put it on this cloak for you? I think I could if I really wanted to. Uh, uh, repeat repeating motifs. What if we did something that's already here but in different colors? What if we did botanicals like this? Oh, that makes me want to put like little bows all over it. Like, what if he was just covered in bows? Oh, that would be cute. But also too much, probably. Hmm. Maybe we'll add one bow somewhere. Somewhere that's not distracting, because I'm like, I would want to put it up under his beard, but then I'd feel like that would be distracting. What if. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Hmm. I don't know if this will work, but just hear me out here. What if the little lad? What if? I don't know. We'll leave it there for now, just to see. Okay, so. Oh, it's just such an awkward green spot. Show me a world without the green spot. What if this was an interesting shape? What if it was... Mm, that's weird. A diamond? A diamond in the rough. In the rough. In the rough. Name that movie. Go. Choo, 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 choo. Am I getting back into Cheez-Its? I don't know. I mean, I love Cheez-Its. Don't get me wrong. If I were to choose between most snacks and Cheez-Its, I'd choose Cheez-Its. Although, I have to tell you. Okay, so it's something dangerous... Uh, Costco usually has these big Dorito bags and it's like Doritos are good but I'm not tempted to get them if they're nacho cheese however this time cool ranch oh no oh no cool ranch I'm gonna die eating cool ranch Doritos now they're so good it's ridiculous okay so I really hope that Costco doesn't pick them up all the time because I will I will just die Okay, what if there's not orange? What if this is all purple, periwinkle, blue? And it's all constellation. And then I turn this pink into the orange. What then? What then? What ho? Sorry, I'm going back and forth so much, but this is literally just how I paint. It has to be like this. There's no other way. Okay. I think I like that better. If the Cheez-Its were little stars, I think that would be cute. I gotta get rid of the little random bow. I have so many feelings. It's like I could I could make this better, I'm sure. And maybe it would be better than the other one, but I also don't know if it's worth the time investment for like a minimal impact. Do you know what I mean? Also, how should the botanicals work in here if this is our shape now? It's not like coming down regularly anymore. Maybe. Baby. Uh, we just change it up completely. All right now, now I will check the chat. Thank you for being so patient with that. 
All right. Uh, Ryan says, look at the this Brazilian propaganda Anna is always going on about. Obrigado. Uh, Brian says, Ritz are nice, but plain. Ritz are great. I love them plain, honestly. I don't know if I would put anything on them. Kendall says, you could also do bows over the buttons. That would be cute. Alex says, what about pretzel shapes? Pretzel shapes. I mean, that is kind of like a bow. It's true. Hmm. Dark Hour says, gotta go Apex stream, but this was so nice to look at in awe. See y'all another time. Thank you so much for being here. Also, go check out Apex. Uh, we're going to be ending. Oh, we should end actually right now. Uh, Kendall says, have a good Apex stream. Jessica T says, mini sourdoughs. Kendall says, lol decisions. Uh, oh my gosh. And uh, sorry if I mispronounced this. Tathana says, wow, your work is stunning. Thank you so much. That's really nice. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to come back later and decide about this, but I wanted to give you one last look at this guy. Uh, this is the original, except for a little sneaky, cheeky little bow. Cute. Um, and this will be a postcard for my future Patreon uh, higher tier. I send out postcards and stickers. So if you want to be in on that, there's a link in the description. Uh, I don't know exactly when I will print it, but I can let you know if you want to know. And then... We've also got our fishy friend. Oh yeah, fishy. <laughs> Which is what we began the stream working on. Uh, I will definitely keep just plugging away at this. There's little pieces here and there that I just keep working on. That's what I love. Having a piece that I can just take snippets of every once in a while. I can just work on it while watching TV at night or whatever. Uh, and then I ha also have something to share with you guys on the stream. So it's lovely to have several pieces that I can come back to on this. What do you guys think about the eye? Do you like the blank eye or do you like the looking eye? Blank, looking, blank, looking. I like the look of blank, but I feel like the story beat of like them having a moment together connects so much more when the fish is looking at her. I'm not sure. Brian says blank. All right, Brian. <laughs> Kettle says looking. Oh no. Tadhana says, yeah, looking. Alessandra says, love how this came out. Thank you so much. I love these pieces. I'm glad you guys love them too. Because it's like, I don't know. It's just so satisfying to share stuff that I'm excited about. Brittany says, both are nice, but I agree that the story beat, it's got to be looking. <laughs> Brian says, start a fishing pole. <laughs> You're so clever. All right. I've got a meeting after this, so I've got to say au revoir, uh, but I will keep working on these. And when they're done, I will post them, but also uh, I might just work on them again in another stream because who knows if they'll get finished anytime soon. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. It was lovely to be back. Uh, sorry for the late start. And I hope to see you next Wednesday at 3 p.m. Pacific time. And until then, stay safe. Get vaccinated. Get boosted. Remember that you are loved. Have a great life. <laughs> I can't remember my sign off anymore. That's how infrequent my streams have been. But anyways, it was lovely to see y'all. Thank you for being here. Uh, bye. Oh, yeah. After party. Mts, 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 mts. Kendall says crying laughing. <laughs> Jessica T says fun times as always. Have a good night. Oh, I'm so glad. Alessandra says thanks for the stream, Anna. Thank you, Alessandra, for being here. Kendall says after party. What's up? Hey, let's talk about Patreon. <laughs> now, after this, I'm meeting with Kendall to talk about Patreon. So everybody get ready for Kendall to drop her Patreon. Oh, heck yeah. I don't know if that's a secret. Sorry, Kendall, if it is. <laughs> no, we've talked about it in the streams before, and it's such a cool step. I just, I love that Patreon is there for creators. So everybody take advantage of this awesome system that we can do, <laughs> be a part of, build. Alessandra says, hope you can check my Discord, Anna. Oh, I will. I definitely will. Thank you so much. Uh, if you guys want to send me anything, Discord's a great place. And yeah. I'm excited to go check out what we've got going on there. And also check out uh, Ryan's stream. He was streaming earlier today, so you can definitely catch the replay. And then, of course, also catch the APAC stream that should be going on right now with Dark Hours slash Joe, our friend here. Uh, and so many other streamers here on Behance are awesome. You should check them all out. All right. I will uh, leave you with... 
an idea. You should ride in a hot air balloon someday. What would the air balloon look like if you could have your your dream air balloon? What would it look like? Draw it for me. <laughs> Jessica D says he made awesome alien characters. Ooh! Okay, Ryan is at home with aliens, so that's probably a really great stream. <laughs> Brian says Pokeball. Oh, it totally would be for you, Brian. <gasps> Can you imagine if it was like a Pokeball that they like did a light show and it had like a little red laser coming out of it and then another hot air balloon showed up and it was a Pokemon as if your hot air balloon had summoned another? <sighs> so cool. <laughs> Jessica T says Anna's food for thought. Exactly. All right, Brian, I'm going to get working on your Pokeball uh, air balloon. I will see you guys later. Bye.